This video will cover the topic, expressing a function as a composition of two functions. Before watching this video, it is important to be familiar with the topic, finding the composition of two functions, basic. For this type of problem, instead of finding the composition of two functions given to us, we need to find the two functions that compose a function given to us. Let's get started with an example. What is this identity function the problem is talking about? The identity function is f of x equals x. So we know that g of x can't equal x and f of x can't equal x based on what the problem has already told us. Okay, but this only eliminates one function from the many we can use. How do we find f of x and g of x? It is first important to identify which function is the inner function and which one is the outer function. In this case, f is the outer function and g is the inner function. Since f of g of x equals h of x, this means that we can substitute the function g of x into f of x, and we can get 6 minus 6x all to the power of 4. This also means that there are several different possible options for g of x and f of x. Let's find a couple of them. Because we have a quantity to the fourth power, we could let the outer function f be x to the power of 4. This would mean that g of x is 6 minus 6x. In order to double check an answer, substitute x in the outer function for the inner function. In this case, this results in 6 minus 6x to the power of 4. Okay, that makes sense. But you said there could be multiple different possible functions whose compositions could result in h of x. How do we find the others? For this type of problem, we only need to find one set of functions, which we already did. However, for practice, let's find one more possibility. Because we have a quantity to the fourth power, f of x could be x squared, provided that g of x also has the exponent of 2. This is because we can use the power of a power rule, as a value squared to the second power is the same as taking something to the fourth power. This would make g of x equal to 6 minus 6x squared, and f of x equal to x squared. The composition of f of g of x would then equal 6 minus 6x squared squared, which equals 6 minus 6x to the power of 4. Alright, let me make sure I understand. To express a function as a composition of two functions, we need to find two functions whose composition is the original function. You are correct.